concede first. Add to. I'm praying for VAR. I'm praying for VAR. Don't... Nope. No offside. Well, oh, it's never easy. It's never easy. Starting. Making runs at the right time, there's no real interplays. You don't really have a lot of control in the midfield either. Like Ugo Trocki just seems a bit too inexperienced at this role. And that's fine. He's only 19 years old. I ain't gonna rip into him too much or nothing, but it would be nice to see Caicedo come on in the second half. I think that would give us a bit more control. Maybe we make some more chances off that. So other than that, I, I don't know. We're looking at a moment of magic or an individual error to take anything from this game. But yeah, we'll see what happens in the second half. It's not been the most optimistic of halves, but Chelsea can turn it around. Not the shells. Three heads on. shit show that was <laughs> not even gonna sugarcoat it we lost 4-1 to Newcastle we arguably should have lost by more that was pathetic worst performance of the season by a mile by an absolute mile I don't know what positives you can take from that other than nice free kick by Sterling I guess we have a free kick taker finally Sanchez maybe other than that what like that this was really really bad and like, i know it's newcastle like i know they're a top team and everything but like we should be performing a lot better than that we were lucky to even be drawing at half time we got a ja a nice free kick i'm not gonna say jammy it was a nice free kick taken by sterling and that was it we didn't offer anything in attack we were disjointed these players played like they were on this newcastle strip with us last night all of them 
all of them. The game management was poor, the decision making was poor, the link up play was poor, the interplay was poor. Um, the leadership, the leadership was disgraceful because after we conceded the second, everybody's head's gone. Thiago Silva, where were you, my guy? Reese James, silly, silly second yellow to give away at that point in the game. Enzo, a couple nice passes here and there, but like that was about it. That was about it. Sterling, nice free kick. Frustrating pass that. Jackson, I don't really know what he did all game. Don't know what he did. It was right back to square one for him. Even the likes of Cole Palmer. Even Cole Palmer struggled. It looked like we were going to lose from probably the first goal. Probably the first goal. Because I think we started all right. But then Badia Shield and Silva or one of the two. I can't even tell who it was. Someone steps out stupidly. Offers Isaac a fuck ton of space. And of course he's going to bury it, because he's Isak. Then at that point, like, heads already seem to dip. Like, we're getting the ball, but we're not really doing anything with it. Players aren't doing one-twos or anything. We look so individualistic, I think, if that's even a word. We look like a bunch of individuals in attack. No one wanted to pass around each other. Everybody just wanted to try and beat five men and try and get the ball in the back of the net themselves. Didn't look like a team at all, but somehow... We get to half time at 1 1. Realistically, Ugo Chukwu should be coming off because he's, n he's not up to it. Not up to it today. And that's fine. I'm not going to rip him. Like, he's clearly inexperienced, and that's okay. Fine. But we should have brought Kaiseido on at that point. Try and restore a little bit of balance, and maybe it would have tipped the scales in our favor a little bit. But no, we don't make any changes. We don't make any changes until we're 3 1 down because we're reactive. Simple as always, we're fucking reactive and it's, it's just annoying. It's so annoying. We give away a stupid goal from a cross, which by the way, we've looked alarming at, cross, at defending crosses and defending set pieces all season. And in this game, Joe Linton should have scored in the first half. Missed an open goal. So we already had our warnings and we didn't heed them and then we were made to pay because our attack didn't do anything. Same shit, different day. Then what? Thiago Silva just a straight bozo moments for the third goal. I was. What are you even gonna say about that? Uh, can I even can I even try and decipher that shit? No. Man just froze. Man just froze, gave the ball away, and then like, it's the easiest goal they could have had today. The fourth goal, one easy ball played over the top. Silva can't get back quickly enough. Gordon cuts inside on Badia Shield and puts it into the back of the net for 4-1. But we look like we should have conceded the fourth goal. Ages before that. Ages before that. And I'm worried. Because this was meant to be one of the better teams. And we're meant to play better against the better teams. And well, what was this? What was this? This was not one of the better performances. This was the worst performance of the season. Worst performance of the season by a mile. And there's been some bad performances too. Which is really saying something. But now I'm looking at like we can't beat the big we can't beat the big teams because the only big team we have beaten is Tottenham. And they had to go down to nine men, and it took us until a 75th minute to even make use of that advantage. We struggle against the low blocks. We're not um, we're struggling from attacking set pe from defending set pieces. Our defense is now leaking goals. We conceded nine in our last three games. So yeah. People want to ask me, be confident, trust the process, back the process. I'm just like, where am I looking? Where am I looking? Because the defense is leaky now. The attack just was never really there. The midfield was getting carved apart. Although, like, I can leave the midfield for now because obviously the Kaiseido rest and Enzo coming back from international duty could have played a part, and that's fine. That's fine. But it looks bleak. It looks bleak. All my confidence is just drained again. Just drained again. Because it's a young, inexperienced squad and I don't know what to expect from them anymore. Hell, I say this. We could go back to Brighton. We could go back home and beat Brighton next week. It would be so typical, Chelsea. It would be so typical. But I don't see how we do it. I don't see how we do it. Because, well, other than a moment of magic, I can't really tell you. I can't really tell you. This is not me blaming Pochettino for everything though. Like, I look at Poch, I look at the players for this performance. I look at Poch because I, what, what were we trying to do today? 
everybody looked disjointed nobody looked like they had a clue what to do and that's where I have to question the manager in terms of questioning the players Jackson you should be doing better Sterling in the second half should be doing better um, who else Palmer had an off day is what it is that guy's been so good for us I'll allow him an off day Ugo, inexperienced. Enzo needs to do better. Silva needs to do better. James needed to do better in the second half. We're weak-minded. We're absolutely weak-minded. And we need to be better. Simple as no ifs, no buts, no maybes. We need to improve. Because I know people are saying we're, we're talking about how well we were doing in the last few games. Like We've only lost one in our last eight, I think, going into this fixture. I think we only won like three. And this is the thing, we need to start getting wins on the board. Performances, okay, whatever, but like we need performances, we need results. At least right now, under any circumstance, we need results because we are pissing away our top four hopes by the week. By the week. Need to do better. Big up everyone, hit the like button, subscribe, all of that, other shells.